what's going down? Are all these UFOs an alien invasion? Or has Project Blue Beam finally begun? Drop a thumbs up and let's roll this. Your world is not as it seems. Everything you know to be true is a lie. Hidden behind the facade of our everyday lives is a secret and powerful organization with a dangerous agenda to manipulate the minds of the masses and usher in a new world order. They call this program Project, Project Blue Beam. Blue. If the pro okay, before we get into it, one, if you believe it, pro uh, Project Blue Beam is real, two, if not. Program is successful, we won't see it coming. Borders between nations will be dissolved. All religions will be dismantled and technology will be turned against us. The architects of Project Blue Beam will distract us with false flag operations like global pandemics, strange weather events, and news reports of UFOs being shot down all over the world. Yeah, What's frightening yeah. is the general population will go along with Project Blue Beam willingly without resistance. Even more frightening, it's already begun. Oh, damn. Now, the, the thing that I love about this is that it's conspiracy, uh, it's UFO content, and at the end he likes to always debunk it or have the opposition, different argument and different perspective. So yeah, it's gonna get bumpy guys, fasten your seatbelts, this is, this is some dark stuff guys, dark stuff. Serge Van was like a mysterious and controversial figure. Born in Quebec in 1945, he was an investigative journalist who became weary of the direction in which society was headed. He believed that there was a secret cabal of powerful elites who were controlling the world behind the scenes. In other words, the Illuminati. Oh, really? Did he also believe water's wet, the sky's blue, and NFTs are a scam? Well, of course, you believe in the Illuminati. Is this a tinfoil hat on my head, or am I just happy to see you? I don't think that's how that saying goes. How many of these stupid shows have we done? Well, a little over a hundred, but I don't think they're yeah, stupid. Yeah, hey, yeah. in all this time, you think some of my knowledge and wisdom would rub off on you. Well, now you're being... Right, let me speak slowly so even a human can understand. The Illuminati are real. Serge Manast was determined to expose these elites. Even Man, the crazy part is that Serge was born in Quebec, or he was in Quebec. I'm in Quebec too, guys. Like, I'm in Montreal. Oh, shit! Oh, shit. Yeah, man, so that kind of hits home, and he died in 96. I, I was born in the 96. Yo, where the 96 homies at? 96, anybody? Anybody around? Love these kind of videos, good stuff. Yeah, man, like, this stuff is crazy. If you're coming on, we talked about gaming earlier. Rewind it if you're into that. I got you with that too, man, but this, this is crazy. When his life was in danger. In 1994, he released his book, Project Blue Beam, which outlines the plan to create a one world government and a new world order. Project Blue Beam was conceived during the Cold War. The Not United States solid. and the Soviet Union were spending vast amounts of money and resources on technology to gain the upper hand. No idea was off the table. Now publicly, the superpowers were building tanks and planes and nuclear weapons. But privately, they were experimenting with mind control and psychic warfare. Obviously, research into mind control wasn't new. The most well-known research is probably the CIA's MK Ultra program, which began in 1953. But Project Blue Beam is a dramatic step forward. The, the mind control stuff, if I'm not mistaken, the CIA really did uh, reveal the fact that, yeah, this was real, right? If I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong because I've... I've, I've uh, I enjoy <clears throat> I enjoy conspiracy videos a lot. I I don't believe all of them, but it's uh, it's a fa it's a fantasy, right? You get that kick out of it, and you're like, what if, right? What could this and that? Like I enjoy them, I enjoy them, but I feel like that uh, they 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 did confront that. I could be wrong. I gotta Google that. I gotta and Google is just like, <laughs> are you Bruh. really gonna Google that? Will Google really tell you that for real? Probably not. So that's not a good source either for for stuff like that. Award. While programs like MK Ultra use drugs for mind control, Project Bluebeam uses technology. So instead of being run by the CIA, Bluebeam is controlled by NASA under the direction of the United Nations. Project Bluebeam is a four-step plan that uses a combination of advanced technology and psychological manipulation to create an illusion so convincing that no one can distinguish reality from the illusion. Yeah. We must yeah. remember that the New Age religion is the very foundation for the New World Government, without which the dictatorship is completely impossible. That is why the Blue Beam Project is so important to them, but mm. has been so well hidden until now. Replace time, they're, they're basically the Project Blue Beam conspiracy is really, really wild because what they're trying to do is uh, if you're uh, religious, they want to make sure that you do not follow that. You follow whatever bull squash they want to uh, they want to push their religion on you. And I genuinely think it's not going to work in this day and age, knowing the fact that the Internet 
message travels faster than the speed of light, okay? It's just not gonna work. If you have your faith, you're not gonna give that up. I, I'm not gonna give my faith up. You're not gonna give your faith up, right? So it's like, I don't think it's gonna work, but, but, but their plan is for the masses, uh, and the masses are easily controlled, right? Let's be, let's keep a buck here. And, and if you're, if you have a weak faith then you're probably gonna fall for it but in this day and age this was leaked back in the 96 maybe it was legit maybe it's not but i think if they're really trying to pull this off it's just not gonna work it's just really not gonna work in this day and age because mess like listen videos are like videos are going around like this everywhere when they shot down the the ufos this was trending first thing that trends alongside the ufos is a project blue beam everybody's saying don't fall for it man it's project blue beam it's project blue beam so if everybody knows about it are they really gonna do it probably not what if this is real and it's just not working and they might not do it maybe they're gonna find different ways to do it in the future uh, b because the cat is out of the bag whether this conspiracy is real or not i don't think it's gonna work in this day and age they can try it maybe they will maybe they're not We'll see Facing every religion on Earth with a new single religion would not be an easy task. In order to succeed, Project Bluebeam would have to create weather events and man-made earthquakes. Yep. It would need to replace all the world's currencies with a single electronic currency. It would need to use holograms, augmented reality, and artificial intelligence. It would need a way to plant fake news stories and propaganda and distribute those to the masses directly, circumventing all news media and elected officials. When Serge Manast exposed Project Bluebeam, these technologies just didn't exist yet. But now they do. Mmm, damn, damn. He dropped a massive nuke there, bro. But yeah, uh, like the homie trend is saying in the chat, bro, they will shut down the internet and feed us AI-generated news. If they shut down the internet, then that's over, though. That's over. But I don't think, uh, like, internet oh, would shit. get oh, shut down shit. because it's, like, multiple different... I, I watched a video a long time ago. It's like, I don't remember much. I need to... I'm not gonna say because I feel like I'll give you misinformation. So I'm gonna find and study that and next time when i'm uh talking about this subject i'll give you a better answer but there was a video that i saw that was very good but that was a long time ago it's just it's coming up in my mind right now but i feel like i won't be able to perfectly articulate it and give you like because we're t we're not talking gaming news right now we talked about it earlier with gaming news okay it, it, there are fake rumors you say that next video say yeah guys uh, it was a fake rumor it's like whatever but th this is some real shit right yeah right so you don't want to f up with that Investigative journalist Serge Manast was convinced that NASA and the United Nations were behind Project Bluebeam, a sinister four-step program to establish a new world order. This would be implemented through yeah, advanced mind control and top secret technology. In the first stage of the project, we'll see a breakdown of all archaeological knowledge, and this is done by creating artificial earthquakes. These earthquakes would be at strategically placed locations around the globe. At these locations, new discoveries will be made that will show that religions have been misunderstood and misinterpreted for centuries. This would allow science to discredit all religious doctrines. Mm. Look at the Dead Sea Scrolls. For hundreds of years, the Bible was thought to be complete. Then in 1947, a shepherd finds some clay jars in a cave. Suddenly, there are new religious texts like the Book of Jubilees, the Wisdom of Solomon, and the Book of Tobit. This discovery didn't fundamentally change religion, but it did cause scholars to think, what else are we missing? Project Bluebeam mm. capitalizes on that kind of doubt. It's designed to cause a crisis of faith for every Jew, Christian, Muslim, and Buddhist. People in crisis will be more likely to accept the New Age religion. Yeah, the thing is that if they, this is 20 year old information. Yeah, Mr. Two Times, I, I made a video on this Project Bluebeam uh, when UFO ho uh, topic was really hot. And that was one of my argument as well. Like it's very old information. So let's say this is real, right? This conspiracy is real. Is it, It's still 20 years old. So 20 years is a very long time. So if this is really true, they probably would have changed their ways of doing it. They probably have better technology. Uh, they probably have a lot of uh, stuff planned out the way they want to do it. Or maybe they thought it's not, maybe they're thinking it's not going to work. Maybe they're not even going to do it, right? That's another possibility. But I feel like that awareness is good. But you, you should not believe everything, but you should also not dismiss everything. You should be open to the idea, but not believe everything, in my uh, opinion. As for earthquakes, these can be artificially created by mining or fracking in the right location. There's also research oh, being done on creating earthquakes with sound waves. This is called what? induced seismicity. 
and the frequency and severity of earthquakes has been increasing over the past 20 years. Oh, damn. Phase two of Project Bluebeam is what Manas called the space show. 3D holographic images and sounds will be projected from a network of satellites. These satellites will use lasers to project images down to Earth. These images will be designed to seduce people into believing in a new god. Holograms and augmented reality is getting better and better every year. This video surfaced out of China and it looks like their city is floating in the clouds. Of course, Yo, we can't verify it. Bro, I heard of that. That is freaky. And we, we also had like news like China is trying to make a second moon or something. One, if you heard that, two, if not, by I believe 2030 or 2025, something like that. That was a long time ago. I, I saw that trending on, on Twitter. That was genuinely crazy. Like those Chinese motherfuckers, they don't give a damn, man. That is insane. But here's the thing, right? whatever the public knows uh in terms of technology right whatever we got this smartphone that's a crazy technology but the military had that 20 50 years ago the the stuff that they got now that's light years ahead that's light years ahead the technology they got right now will never be uh it's probably like 20 50 years ahead most of it will probably get revealed and it probably is gonna be uh sold as for consumers it's gonna become consumer related but there's likely a lot of it that will never become public that we will never know about because it's classified it's uh classified stuff right if the video is real or not but we have seen things like this before the image seen and language heard will be True, different in Ibrick, different parts True. of the world according to what religion is most dominant in the area then all the different deities from all the world's religions will merge into one then the projections of Jesus, Muhammad, Buddha, and Krishna will merge into one, and explanations of mysteries and revelations will be disclosed. This one God will, in fact, be the Antichrist, who will explain that the various scriptures had been misunderstood and misinterpreted, and that the religions of old are responsible for turning brother against brother and nation against nation. Therefore, old religions must be abolished to make way for the new age, new world religion, representing the one God Antichrist they see before them. Now, earthquakes and religious artifacts will be enough to convert some people to this new religion. Giant. Yeah, a lot of people, people are not going to give up their faith. Let's be real. Like, if you're a Muslim, you're not going to give up. If you're a Christian, you're not going to give up your faith. Like, that's... Um, it's a different story if you start like uh, researching on your uh, on your own, and if you're convinced, then you change. But you cannot change someone, right? Unless they want to. So that's not gonna work. But they're the the masses. We're talking about the masses, and their goal is the masses. Their goal is not you guys. Uh, it's the masses, right? If they ever do that, uh, it, it's gonna work with a lot of people. I bet it's gonna it's gonna work with a lot of people. Deities appearing and then converging into one antichrist will convert a lot more people. But these technologies won't work on everybody. Non-religious people will be terrified, sure, but they won't suddenly believe in God based on a hologram, no matter how real it looks. To get the entire planet to adopt a new religion and a one-world government, people need to come to this decision themselves. If seeing a hologram of the message isn't enough, Project Bluebeam will broadcast the message directly into our brains. And that oh, yeah, technology Alex. is available everywhere in the world, right now. Damn, damn, damn. Right now? Now we can see it. I, I'm not dismissing it, man. The, the hologram stuff, that's real. That's real. That's in public right now. That's public. So you just got to understand this. The, 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 the technology, the same technology, the military, military has the same, te same technology that's light years ahead, 50 years advanced. So the type of shit they have, that's like crazy, man. That's crazy, bro. A new world coming into view. A world in which there is the very real prospect of a new world order. We have before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations a new world order. Dang. The goal of Project Bluebeam is to get the entire planet to adopt a single religion and then a single government. And this will happen in four steps. Step one is to use artificial earthquakes and archaeological discoveries to discredit existing religions. Step two is through holograms, augmented reality, and AI to make people believe that a new god has arrived to replace all existing gods. 
Step three is mind control using microwaves. Whoa, so they put secret messages in popcorn and frozen dinners? No, not microwave ovens. Microwaves are small radio waves. Oh. These electromagnetic waves are all around us. Yo, YNG, thank you, brother. Thank you for that. I lo I've been loving Hogwarts Legacy for sure. But this mind control technology that they're talking about, that is crazy, though. Thoughts on this one, guys? You believe in that? I mean, mind control is real, but everybody has a different definition. Mind control, like CIA has been doing it for years and years. They also have their own studies. But the type of mind control this Project Bluebeam is talking about, the, the type of uh, microwave that he's talking about right now, it is uh, completely different. Completely different. It's not like you uh, <laughs> they're gonna sit you down somewhere, give you that truth serum, and let you spill the beans. It's more like, hey, Wi-Fi, signals type, you know? Us all the time. They're in the air, they move through our homes, through our bodies, through everything. All cell phones use microwaves. The frequencies are typically yeah. between 800 and 2200 megahertz. 5G operates between 28 and 39 gigahertz. Don't have a cell phone? Doesn't matter. Baby monitors, garage door openers, Bluetooth devices, the Wi-Fi in your all home, of them, all, of them. all use radio waves. RFID tags, wireless earbuds, remote control toys, MRI machines, and yes, even oh, microwave ovens. Yeah. We are constantly. This is this is why this is why they say like my, do not microwave your food all the time. We all do it. We all because it's convenient. But but uh, microwaving food all the time is actually bad. It increases the chances of cancer. Uh, so yeah, man, I know. Oh, it's crazy. Oh, it's like in this day and age, everything is bad for you. Don't drink sodas. Yeah, I mean, don't drink sodas, that's bad, a lot of sugar. But then it's like, do not eat main. Like, any packaged food is bad. Any and mostly every packaged food is bad. Just natural food, something that grows uh, in uh, from the trees and in the, uh, in the soil. That's basically what you want. But even that is kind of manipulated with the chemicals and whatnot. So, nothing, honestly... Mostly everything is rigged, guys. We, it's over, man. It's over, guys. It's over. It's over. Swimming in electromagnetic radiation. There's no way to escape it. Ew, how much protection from a tinfoil hat? Not nearly enough. Two tinfoil hats? Please, can I? Step three of Project Bluebeam seizes Bruh. control of the full EM spectrum and uses it to control our very thoughts. The third step in the Bluebeam project uses electronically augmented two-way communication where ELF, VLF, and LF waves will reach each person from within his or her own mind, convincing each of them that their own God is speaking to them from the very depths of their own soul. Such rays from satellites are fed from the memories of computers that have stored massive data about every human on Earth and their languages. The rays will then interlace with their natural thinking to form what we call diffuse artificial thought. That kind of technology goes into the 1970s, 1980s, and 1990s research where the human brain has been compared to a computer. Damn. Information is set in, processed, integrated, and then a response is formulated and acted upon. Damn. We already have tech- Yeah, that's the thing though. Uh, we have the technology to do that. We, that's the, the freaky part. Now, whether you want to believe in this Project Bluebeam, that's different. We have that technology. But are they ever gonna do that? Probably not. I don't believe that. But but you need to be open to the idea, right? So, yeah, yes, sir. Shit's kind of crazy. Technology like Neuralink, where the mind can control a machine. Project Bluebeam lets a machine control the mind. Step four is the most insidious of all. It describes how Project Bluebeam will create a fake disaster or crisis that will bring the world together. But not through hope or through peace. The world will come together through fear. This event will be so frightening that people will no longer care about their religion or their national or cultural identity. They'll be so scared that they won't resist the One World Government. They'll beg for it. Manas gave a specific example of what Project Bluebeam would use to terrify the world. And it may already be happening. Project Bluebeam would stage a fake invasion of UFOs. Mm, yes, sir. That's, a, that's the one. And let's be real. If it ever happens, guys, you can say that I'm not going to fall for it. But if it for real happens, like I don't believe it, there, I don't believe that it's gonna happen. But 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 you need to be open to the idea. You never know, right? But let's say it happens, dog. Like it, the panic would be around the streets, though. I I don't think I would be out here making YouTube videos. You know what I'm saying? Like shit would be crazy. Like it would it would actually go down, and people would really be uh, worried for their life and 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 stuff like that for food and money and other stuff. So. 
it's gonna be a completely different and trauma really changes people so like yeah it's basically if you know what reagan said right if we had a threat from outer space all of our problems will become so small and shit so that's one of those things uh, and it will combine everyone together it's gonna bring everyone together i'll be runaway world economics fun you what up jason i know what you're gonna say but we talked about that earlier on the stream so just rewind it brother we talked about gaming earlier this morning, questions after more unidentified objects are discovered over U.S. and Canadian airspace. For dramatic new details about the unidentified object shot down by fighter jets. They didn't have propulsion. They weren't being maneuvered. It was basically they were being, being driven uh, by, the, by the wind. Unidentified object shot down by U.S. Yeah, bro, uh, bro, I believe that. As a Muslim, like, I believe that. I believe that uh, as well. Uh, yeah. Fighter jets over the weekend. Three objects over three days. Can't work out exactly how they fly, and they won't rule out the fact that they might even be extraterrestrial. For the Damn. third time in as many days, the U.S. had spotted and shot down an unidentified. The update, however, uh, is that the update to the story, they they did say that they're not ruling out the possibility of ET. That was crazy. But the update here is that Biden went Biden, the U.S. president. Okay, his words. Uh, they couldn't they couldn't find the wreckage of the three UFOs they shot down though. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. You're telling me... We're talking US. We're talking military here, guys. We're not talking Call of Duty, man. Um, like, that is actually freaky, though. Like, they shot down three objects in the sky. UFOs doesn't mean aliens again. But they shot down three objects. That's what they said. And then they said that we do not know what we shot down. We cannot even find the wreckage. All three of them, you're telling me you couldn't find at least one of them? Yeah, man. That's wild. Identified object. What is going on here with what seem like a deluge of potential incursions? What are these objects? Where are they coming from? What is their purpose? Serge Benass said the fourth step in Project Bluebeam would be what he called a universal supernatural manifestation with electronic means. In other words, a false flag attack. One is to make mankind believe that an alien invasion is about to occur at every major city on Earth in order to provoke each major nation to use its nuclear weapons in order to strike back. The United Nations court will require that all nations which launch nuclear weapons disarm when the invasion is shown to be false. And how will the United Nations know that the invasion was false? It will have staged it, of course. Damn, man. Now, it's hard not to notice what's been happening with UFOs or UAPs over the last few years. For my entire life, UFOs were considered a fringe idea. Then whistleblowers like Bob Lazar started to emerge who claimed to have worked on UFOs at Area 51. What if you believe in Bob Lazar too? If not, I want to know your thoughts because the homie Ibrick is like, I don't believe Bob Lazar there, I said it. I personally believe in the in the guy because like uh, he did, he's, the reason I believe it is because, not because what he says is wild and I, I, first of all, like I love the conspiracies. I'm biased towards that topic. I believe in UFOs. I believe in aliens for sure, for sure. Uh, but but the reason I specifically believe Bob Lazar's story is because he leaked that years ago. I believe he leaked that uh, before I was born, right? And he stuck with that story. He didn't sell anything. He didn't profit it off of that. It's a different story now because you recently he made a movie, but he did not profit off of that movie. The movie maker profited off off of that that wanted to tell his story. So not Bob Lazar specifically. And Bob Lazar it has stuck with his word. And he basically said the same thing over and over whenever he was interviewed. S the same details, because the, the thing with this is that when you are when you are lying, you are fabricating that. And if somebody asks you the same question a year later, two years later, you're going to have a completely different response. Because you're not going to go back in time and think to what you said, because that's too complicated. You made that lie on the spot, you fabricated that and going back and re-accessing that memory from two years ago in Bob Lazar case decades ago that's just wild right chances are very slim so he has just kept on saying the same thing over and over that yeah I did that this and that uh, he did a massive uh, podcast with Joe Rogan very good podcast actually that's one of my favorite as well so I, I personally believe because he stuck with his word, didn't really profit it. Now, could it be that he was lying and could it be that he fabricated that lie and he told that to himself over and over? 
possible to i mean listen at the end of the day nobody knows if it's 100 facts or not but it seems genuine because there are body language experts they also try to analyze and none of them were able to uh conclude that he was lying right yeah i, I believe i believe in bob lazar but always be open to the idea of hey like oh shit, he was lying oh shit, he was not uh speaking the facts i believe it but yeah yeah then we got reports from navy pilots who claimed to see ufos dr emmett then we saw video then the government acknowledged that not only do UFOs exist, but they don't have any idea what they are. Since then, there are reports and images and video of objects in the skies all over the world. As I record this... Yo, is that video real? Like, there were three objects. Yeah, people are on them streets. So you got the one, two, this one. Okay, that's like the light. Uh uh street light street light so is that real okay so this lady is recording so this has to be real Blah! i don't know man is that street light street light or this is street light it's an images and video of objects in the skies all over moving. the world this as i record this the united states has shot down four unidentified objects in the span of about a week according to project bluebeam this quickening of events is all intentional it started with movies like 2001 a space odyssey and independence day and television shows like Star Trek. These were to get the public used to the idea that it was just a matter of time before science fiction became science fact. A few decades later, military jets are firing missiles at UFOs, and the news is reporting on it. It would yeah. seem that the next logical step is for the UFOs to start firing back. Now, obviously, Damn. there's no military on Earth that can defeat such advanced technology, so they'll deploy the most destructive weapons they have, nuclear weapons. In the aftermath, the architects of Project Bluebeam will reveal that the alien attack was staged. Then after watching their cities burn, the people of Earth will be outraged and demand that all countries disarm, all according to plan. Again, when Project Bluebeam is- Bro, bro, we shouldn't even have nuclear weapons. Like, let's be real. We can, it, and that's the thing, right? You and I do not get to decide. You and I have no, literally no say in this. No say in this. Here's the thing, guys, if one, politician gets mad that has the power and he starts he initiates it's over bro it's literally over the rest of the country is gonna they're not gonna go defense mode they're gonna go offense they're gonna fire it's like everybody's firing everybody's firing and boom like you know what i mean it's it's over and you and i got no say that's the the the, the crazy part so the, the the nukes that we have with the nukes the, the amount of nukes that we have we can blow over our, our over planet million times over man probably not million times but you get the idea right Bruh. we can blow over planet dozens time over that's our realistic statement i guess <laughs> realistic opinion it's crazy we shouldn't have nuclears nuclear weapons we should not it's like one one politician over uh can decide the future of seven billion people eight billion almost eight billion if we're not at eight billion uh, let's just say closer to 8 billion people. One politician can decide uh, eight, almost 8 billion people. Damn, that's crazy though. You know, crazy thought. ...is implemented, the world's population won't resist the New World Order. They'll demand it for their own protection. And by the time they realize what they've done, it'll be too late. Too late? Damn. I agree with you. What you're talking about is still nothing being done. There have been many this politicians coming up. This is what needs no, it's to not. be done in order to actuate this false flag operation that will involve the abduction of citizens so as to foster doctor i believe that's dr stephen greer how many of you guys are familiar with dr stephen greer w man w man an illusion that this earth is facing an extraterrestrial invasion use of experimental drugs holographic projection capabilities directed energy technologies i'll get into that in a moment induced auditory input oh, experimental aircraft well, that's just a euphemism for man-made UFOs and special effects costuming and stagecraft. In addition to stage... Okay, I'll, I'll let you know. Yeah, he has... Uh, yeah, we were searching for K-Senate Hyde earlier, if you came earlier. You know what uh, me, Dr. Steven Greer. Uh, yeah, you gotta watch Unacknowledged, bro. If you if UFO topic is uh, interesting to you, watch these movies. Uh, it's like documentaries he made, Dr. Steven Greer. They're really good. They're very good. Very, very good. Unacknowledged, Sirius, uh, Cyrus, or however you want to say, Close Encounters of the Fifth Kind, uh, and whatnot. Just check them out whenever you have free time. You will love it. Trust me, you will love it. Aging a fake alien invasion, 
Project Bluebeam will implement other programs to terrify the world's population into compliance. One of these is a plot to convince Christians that the rapture is happening. And for those who don't know, back, the rapture is- A great song by Blondie. No. And out comes a man from Oz, and he's trying to run, but he's got a gun, and he shoots you dead, and he eats your head. And then you're in the man from Oz, you go <laughs> out at night. Eating cars, you eat Cadillacs, Lincolns too, Mercury's and Subarus. Guys, 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 uh, you gotta sub to the Y Files, man. Crazy big W channel. I love, uh, I love, uh, he, 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 I love his videos, man. Love his videos. He has humor in it too. He goes crazy dark. He's always serious, but surely he has the humor side of him. But he uses his humor side into a character, so he got a fish, right? He's not the one making those noises. I make those noises, but he's not. But he got that character. W channel. W channel. And you don't stop. Stop. And you don't stop. Stop. Okay, okay, sheesh, what a grouch. The rapture is a term used by some Christians to describe an event that happens at the end of the world, where Jesus returns to earth to take all of his followers to heaven. Now, Project Bluebeam will stage a divine intervention from Jesus to help save humanity from the alien invasion. Also, during this time, electronic waves will be transmitted over every wire on earth. And these waves will induce psychosis in a large number of people. This will cause a wave of violence so severe that the population will be ready to reestablish peace at any cost, even at the expense of personal freedom. Serge Benass said the architects will phase out cash and national currencies, replacing them with a single electronic currency. This sounds a lot like Bitcoin. Yeah. Now, Bitcoin was created by Satoshi Nakamoto, but nobody knows who that is. It could be one person or a group of people or- Or it could be the Illuminati. Right, nobody knows. Project Bluebeam has four specific goals. Abolish religion, abolish pride in one's country, dissolve the family in favor of the state, and destroy individual creativity. If you don't see these things happening now, you're not paying attention. As you would expect, Serge Manast ruffled a lot of feathers when he revealed Project Bluebeam to- Bro, you wanna know the crazy part? So this is a guy behind that. Uh, this is a whistleblower behind uh, Project Bluebeam, right? 514, that's the phone number, right? I'm in Montreal, and guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? 514 is the city code of my city, man. My city. Oh, shit. Oh, I live in this shit, bruh. Like, that is crazy. He is. He first said that he was Quebec, uh, in Quebec. Montreal is in Quebec, right? That's a province. Uh, but now I'm finding out that 514, that's the Montreal number. That's my city number, damn it. That's crazy, man. To the world. He claimed he was being watched and followed. In fact, in Here September 1996, his two homeschooled children were taken from him and made wards of the state so they could receive a public education. Run by the government. Yep. He never saw them again. On December 4th, 1996, Serge Manast was arrested for spreading misinformation. He was questioned and spent the night in jail. The next day, he was found dead in his apartment. Yeah. Even yeah, though he was yeah. in perfect health, the official report is he died of a heart attack at the age of 51. And so Serge Manast, the man who refused to be silenced, was finally silenced after all. Mm. Yeah, guys, that's a... Uh, the a idea of Project right? Bluebeam suggests that NASA is planning to create a fake alien invasion using holographic technology. The theory suggests that the purpose of this event is to frighten the world's population to make it easier to create a new world order under a one world government. But is it true? Well, there's no way to fully debunk a theory like this because anything happening behind the scenes is presumably still behind the scenes. But yep. let me give you the complete picture so you can make up your own mind. According to Manast, step one is, in his words, the setup of earthquakes at certain precise locations of the planet where supposedly new discoveries will suddenly explain the wrong meaning of all major religions' basic doctrines. And yes, earthquakes can be created, but they can't be created discreetly. You need large teams of people and huge equipment. There's no way to do this and go unnoticed, so let's discount that. As for convincing people to give up their faith, good luck with that. That's not gonna happen. Yo, uh, Trent, thank you. I will put it on my notepad. I will look into it. Uh, David Icke, obviously I heard of him, but never really researched. That's what the homie, I believe, Sol Solid said. I'll look that up. I put it on my notepad. Deadass, deadass. But guys, like, yeah, that's the thing. Good luck with getting people to change their faith. That's not gonna happen. Trying to eliminate religion has been tried over and over again throughout history and it's never worked. Never Ancient worked. Rome tried to eliminate Christianity by persecuting Christians. Instead of destroying it, it became the largest religion on the planet. 
The Soviet Union tried to eliminate religion, which the government saw as an obstacle to the socialist utopia. <laughs> socialist utopia is an oxymoron. <laughs> Communist really? China tried the same thing in the 1960s and 70s. These governments closed places of worship and destroyed religious artifacts. They arrested and sometimes executed religious leaders from all faiths. These governments believed that religion was a relic of the past that needed to be destroyed in order to create a modern, rational society. Now, if you pay attention, you can even see this type of thinking creeping into modern media. Let the past die. Kill it, if you have to. The past is... The, the, the thing is that the more you try to control and stop it, the, the more people start believing, right? That's the thing. For example, the recent situation with Andrew Tate, right? Him getting locked up, uh, more it just made more people aware. I wasn't even familiar with Andrew Tate whatsoever, right? Regardless of whether you like the guy or not like the guy, that's different, right? Point is that, like, if they try to stop it and they tell you not to do it, people will do it. That's like human psychology. That's human psychology. It's It just doesn't work. And religion is a different thing, right? Like, if you try to tell people to not follow it, people will follow it. And you should follow God, guys. Follow God. It's, uh... <laughs> I mean, damn, man. So, it's not gonna work. Dead. We either move forward or we die with it. But none of this worked. People simply worshipped in secret. Project Bluebeam wanted to break down the traditional family and make all people loyal to the state first. This, yep. too, can be seen in modern media. But there is no person, no government, and no movie studio powerful enough to overcome the strength of faith and family. It fails every time. Now, step two is using holograms to project the image of a new god and convince people to worship a new antichrist. The technology to make that kind of hologram convincing enough just doesn't exist. Now, for a few years, there have been videos floating around the internet showing very realistic holograms as a way to support the existence of Project Bluebeam. None of these are real. These are nothing more than CGI and... They look real good, man. ...augmented reality. Now, AR allows users to see 3D objects in the physical world, but only through a device like a smartphone or a television. So when you see videos like this, we see the animals in the shot through the camera. The people in the shot don't see them. But what? those aren't holograms. A hologram is an object that can be seen floating in space by an observer without a camera. But holograms need a substrate or a medium meaning the light has to be projected into something. Usually this is done using layered glass or plastic. Guys, I just hope I get to see the GTA 6 before this happens. Bruh. That is crazy. Now, the counter argument to this one, if they have hologram, right? Uh, it's not the best, right? It's in public. It's not the best, but it's still very mind blowing. The, 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 the point here is that whatever the, uh, the government and whatever the military has, that's light years ahead, light year advance compared to that. And that's the, the, the argument of uh, Project Bluebeam and uh, uh, Sergey. And even good holograms don't look very good. A fun 3D technique that always fascinated me has been around for 200 years. It's called Pepper's Ghost after John Henry Pepper who popularized it. The effect is created using a sheet of glass placed at an angle between the Yo, Snoop Dogg Megalol, bro. Projector, transparent foil, 45 degrees, reflective surface, animation of Tupac is pro projected onto the mirrored surface. Number two, image is reflected onto the transparent screen, which is angled such that the audience sees Tupac, but not the foil. God damn! God damn! The viewer and the object. The object is projected onto the glass using a hidden projector. This effect has been used very effectively to simulate live performances of dead musicians. Tupac oh, yeah? rapped on stage with Snoop Dogg at Coachella. Michael Jackson performed at the Billboard Music Awards. Oh, Roy man. Orbison, Buddy Holly, and Whitney Houston all went on tour and played to sold out crowds. But view these projections at the wrong angle or in a bright room, the illusion is broken. You're not gonna fool billions of people using any of these techniques. But that's where step three comes in, mind control. Using advanced technology, Project Bluebeam will convince us that what we're seeing is real. Now, it's terrifying to say, but this technology actually exists. Damn. 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 After World War II, at the start of the Cold War, the U.S. and other countries researched mind control technologies for military and intelligence purposes. The most notorious is the CIA's MKUltra program, which used drugs and hypnosis on people, many against their will. 
that program was eventually shut down amid public outrage. Yeah, earlier, earlier, that's exactly what uh, I was talking about. So, like, yeah, that sort of stuff. We know it's uh, they've done that. Uh, they, they've done a lot of crazy stuff behind the scenes. Probably most of it is still classified. Most of it will probably never be made public. There will still be conspiracies. You can choose to believe them or not. But their mind control part, that's real. But the Project Bluebeam mind control, that's with microwave. That's with, like, Wi-Fi signals. That's completely different. Crazy, man. Allegedly shut down. Right. Allegedly. Allegedly. The mind control technology has continued to evolve. Transcranial yeah. magnetic stimulation, or TMS, uses magnetic fields to stimulate activity in specific areas of the brain. And TMS has been used to treat mental health conditions such as depression and anxiety. Brain computer interfaces, or BCIs, allow people to control computers using their thoughts. You might be familiar with Elon Musk's company Neuralink. Yeah. Neuralink uses BCIs with the goal of enhancing people's cognitive abilities. All you have to do is have a microchip surgically implanted into your brain. Oh yeah, great idea! Yo, yo, any of you would ever get Neuralink though? One if yes, two if not. Like, I know some of you are like, bruh, I don't wanna die that early, man. I don't wanna get hacked. You imagine you get Neuralink and the next thing you know, oh, sorry, man. Um, uh, sorry, guys, I got Neuralink. I got hacked. Today I cannot stream. I got hacked. I need to get rid of the... I gotta run antivirus in my brain. Bro, that... Yikes, bro. That is... Crazy, man. That's like cyberpunk reality. Uh, so you've ever done that the Chinese will be into strawberries? Hell nah. Yeah, I'm not expecting that. The homie Nick says nah. Number two, Mr. Two Times, hell nah. Uh, well, GTA is mind control. The more you uh, the more you get GTA, uh, wants you, uh, need update, lol. Yeah, need an update, man. Need an update, though. What could possibly go wrong? Electroconvulsive stimulation, or ECS, is a medical treatment that involves sending electrical impulses into the brain to induce a brief seizure. This kind of reboots the brain and is used to treat chronic depression and other mental illnesses. The military uses ECS on fighter pilots to increase their performance. You can even buy these devices online or build them yourself. But I don't recommend that because scientists don't really know how it works yet. They just no, know. No, here's the argument, right? Like, I don't, I don't like uh, doom and gloom, right? Like, everything is bad. We shouldn't do this. Uh, the thing with Neuralink is that uh, one of my cousin, he has, I believe, I forgot, MS, MS, MS. It's a disease. I don't know how to best describe it. But Neuralink is stuff uh, can actually cure his disease. And Neuralink is something that can cure blindness. I uh, can cure. It, it can be really helpful for helpful for a lot of people. The, uh, so there is some positivity with that there's some positive outcome can be positive outcome and i hope for positive outcome it's not always doom and gloom but but you always gotta question it right like do you want to be the first one to get Neuralink and find out that you got hacked you know what i mean so that that's you don't want to be the first one and be screaming, oh, sorry, guys. Uh, you don't want to be the first one going on Twitter. Oh, guys, I got Neuralink. I, I got hacked today, so uh, I got to take her. You know what I mean. You don't want to be the first one. So let them in experiment. And uh, yeah, it it's basically cyberpunk, honestly, dude. That is the crazy part. Damn, no update. It's a rape. Oh, that it exactly. does. So in theory, Project Bluebeam could use ECS on the entire world's population to control our behavior. But that would need a tremendous amount of electricity and wouldn't be very discreet. Finally, step four of Project Bluebeam is faking an alien attack. This actually wouldn't be hard to do. All you really need is a story. Yeah, okay, sorry for pausing again, but this is just way too funny for me to not read. <coughs> Rule says they have to pay subscription to things. <laughs> Yo, actually, deadass, and I believe in that fully, man. Bruh. Fully. Imagine, yo, Elon Musk, he got that deadass $8 Twitter blue, man. You think... You think he's not gonna do that? Yo, man, you gotta pay like $8, $8 a month to be able to critically think. You want enhanced powers? You wanna think like you used to think back then when you didn't have Neuralink installed? Pay me $8. You want that double boost? Pay me $8 again. That, that's crazy. Now listen, man, I, I've been a big fan of Elon Musk, but recently the stuff he's doing, that's like, bruh, like, come on, man. He has done a lot of great things. It would be absolutely, uh, like, I wouldn't, I would never, he's a, very successful i would never knock the the hustle i would never knock his uh, success down and uh, you know what i mean he has done a lot of great things but there's a lot of things it's like bruh like come on son like damn man 9.99 to speak in different languages you wanna you want a live translator well pay me ten dollars <laughs>
Uh, and you can actually listen to a person that's speaking Chinese and you can understand it in your native language and you can start speaking different languages. But man, the crazy thing is that, guys, like everything that you're saying right now, that's not out of the realm uh, of possibility though. Like, uh, Neuralink, it's only step one, right? Like once in the in a decade from now, two decades from now, given if we have not blown ourselves up, if we are still alive, Neuralink is gonna progress, it's gonna get better, it's gonna evolve, and the the the, the that's they're gonna pro you're if you get to install that, you're probably gonna be able to translate and do some crazy shit, man. Crazy shit. Given if it's successful, given if it works, and given that if people really believe and choose to go ahead and install that in their brain you know what i mean right story and a compliant media to tell it well we have that we do news agencies no longer challenge politicians that they agree with now that's dangerous because false flag operations do gotcha. happen in 1962 the united states department of defense proposed operation northwoods the plan called for the shooting down of yeah. the u.s civilian aircraft attacks on U.S. bases, and the staging of attacks on U.S. cities, all to create the illusion that America was being attacked by Cuba. President Kennedy oh. rejected the idea, but if it went forward, the- W. Pro, uh, w. Kennedy, man, because like, dude, if it went forward, a lot of uh, people would have died, though. Like, they really wanted to stage that. That is crazy. And surprisingly, uh, obviously, I will be uploading this on my second channel, so this is not gaming-related channel, but- I'm currently live streaming on my gaming channel. So Operation Northwoods, Product, Project Northwoods is is actually a code name for, uh, I believe, Black Ops 3 or Black Ops 4, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, Call of Duty, uh, Treyarch, they love the, the CIA stuff that's uh, with called the, their Black Ops game. So that that's actually real. That's crazy that it's real. The US would have secretly attacked its own citizens. In 1964, the United States destroyer USS Maddox was attacked twice in the Gulf of Tonkin off the coast of Vietnam. The US immediately escalated its involvement in the Vietnam War. But the second attack on the Maddox, it never happened. The United States would see 50,000 soldiers killed and over 300,000 wounded Damn. in a losing war based partially on lies told by the United States government. Now, all governments have carried out false flag operations throughout history. Faking a UFO attack wouldn't be that difficult, at least yep. not on a small scale. Let me ask you, those UFOs that were shot down by the US, has anyone seen the wreckage? Nope. Maybe by the time you're watching this, there will be a logical explanation for what happened. But uh, as of as of February 26, uh, 12 in the morning, deadass, East Coast, 12 in the morning, February 26, we literally turned, boys. New day, another day, been streaming for a day, you know what I'm saying? But as of now, uh, they have just said that they haven't found wreckage of the three UFOs they shot down. Bullcrap, that's uh, bullshit. I don't believe that. I don't believe that. That's what they said. But as of now, nobody really knows. And if the US government knows, it isn't talking. As the surge been asked death, he did die the very next day after being detained by authorities. Now that could be a coincidence, but it's a story we hear yeah, all too often with whistleblowers. Now that's disturbing because often the only thing standing between a conspiracy theory and the truth is one brave whistleblower. And that's why even though I believe there are many elements of Project Bluebeam that are true, the entire story probably isn't. Mm. Serge Manast often referred to Star Trek as a way of getting people ready to accept Project Bluebeam. Now this get get ready for uh, blue pill buckos. Uh, and, and yeah, I love this channel because he talks about conspiracies and he also talks logically and he debunks them too. Uh, with logical explanation without his own agenda, right? W channel, the Y file, subscribe to the homie, subscribe to this man. But but yeah, the, the, the you're gonna hear from him, but there's a lot of uh, Project Bluebeam stuff that's... Uh, they have the technology, though. That's uh, irrefutable. That's facts, though. But is it gonna happen? I hope not, and probably not. But I hope not, too, as well. This is interesting because a few months before he released his book, a biography on Gene Roddenberry was released. The guy who created Star Trek? Yep, that guy. And in the book was the plot of an unreleased Star Trek movie that Roddenberry wrote. The movie was called The God Thing. The plot of the movie was how an alien convinces everyone on Earth that it's a god using technology. And in 1991, an episode of Star Trek The Next Generation was released called Devil's Do. The plot was about an alien using technology to convince a planet that she's god so she can enslave the population. 
She uses mind control and holograms to do this. Oh, so uh, when did this cat release his blue book? Uh, about 18 months after the episode aired. Oh. Oh, shit! Oh, yep, shit. so that's uh, the... <laughs> that's the one. Now, it doesn't... Now, listen, again, it doesn't mean that he was lying. or And it also doesn't mean that he was spitting facts. The, the facts here are that a lot of the stuff he said is somehow coming true and that's very bizarre and very scary as well and very uh like it, it's crazy that a lot of the stuff he said is kind of coming true in terms of holograms and uh other stuff but it does not mean that it's true and it's gonna happen right you want to be all open to the possibility but you should not believe everything you hear and see right that, that's where i'm at but you should always be open uh, to the possibility you should not dismiss anything right on the spot right if somebody tells you that uh yeah this and that don't dismiss it but also do not buy it don't fully believe it just be like okay what you're saying might be true but like i'm gonna do my own research if i find the time and if it's true then i'm gonna believe it if it's not true then i'm not gonna believe it right that, that's basically where we are so don't never dismiss anything and never believe anything either right Project Bluebeam sounds like science fiction because it was probably based on science fiction. But even if it wasn't, I don't think Project Bluebeam could work on us. Not today when we're all so connected and information moves so quickly around the yep, world. Yep, yep, yep. You couldn't pull off a worldwide I conspiracy you, like this without an army of people supporting it. An army of regular people, like us. Just think of the technical expertise required. The number of computer engineers, carpenters, electricians. Here's what I want you to do. Go to Bilderberg or Davos or Bohemian Grove and ask any of those super wealthy elites what the IP in TCPIP stands for. Internet protocol. They ask them how know. far apart they you should know. space your studs when framing a wall. 16 on Santa. Ask them what wires are hot in Bruh. Romex electrical cable. Red and black. The elites may <laughs> run the world, but they can't do anything. Not without us. So they're going to convince an army of people to create they need us uh that, that's the thing they need us an illusion to fool billions into accepting a new world order the elites are going to turn entire armies of soldiers against their neighbors against their children it can't be done and the elites they know it they know they can push us but only so far they know they can control us but not all of us not at once because like i said no matter how much money you have or how much power you'll never have more power than family and faith Yep. And faith doesn't just mean religion. Guys, guys, follow God uh, and have faith. Family over everything, okay? Family, friends over everything, okay? Like that's that's basically where it's at, man. And and they want they really want to destroy us. If you if you if you really like think about it logically, what's happening here in the West? It's like, bruh, like people don't even speak to their family no more. Like that shit's crazy. That was a foreign concept like decades, two decades ago. Now it's pretty normal. Pretty normal. I'm not a religious person. But I still have faith. I have faith in my friends, in my neighbors. I have faith in you. Oh, I have faith that when tyranny arrives, you'll resist and I'll join you. We'll resist tyranny with words. And if words aren't enough, we'll use violence. Just like our grandfathers did when they stormed the beach at Normandy. And just like a million farmers did 250 years ago to liberate their country from a tyrannical king. The elites know this and that's why they fear us. They have money and they have power but we have something they don't have. We have each other. Oh, damn, 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 man. W video, boys. Thank w you so video, W video. Click on this video on the screen, and I will see you right there.